Today in BMNG, we are at the Downhill Mayhem track, and we are going to try to see which one of these cars can get the furthest coasting down it without using its brakes. Let's jump into it and see which one gets the furthest. Let's see how far the Bugatti Zonda gets. So far, everything's looking good. It's just shaking a lot. Here comes the first air section. That stayed pretty good to the ground. A little bit of damage, not much. Can we get around the first hole and down the center? Looks like we're going to be able to keep it pretty straight. It lands it pretty well. Oh! goes off the side and oof, a major impact it's not looking good it avoids the second hole hits the rail a little bit and keeps on tumbling hopefully it can land on its wheels do the bumps another big hit for the Zonda well, it's still got some steering left in it. Ooh. Oof. Ooh, that was a big hit and a large bounce. And that might just do it here. As it slowly rolls into the ditch. It just won't stop moving. There you have it. As far as the Pagani got. Next up is the Aston Martin Valkyrie. And it's the hill climb version. So far it's doing pretty well. All the way up to 60 miles an hour and still controls really nice. It's not quite as bouncy and doesn't fall enough power like the Pagani was. Or the Zonda was. A little bit lighter on the controls here. It gets a little oversteery in the front. Try hit the center here. Oh, we hit a, ooh, that bounce, and then the wing just turns us over and pancakes. Does a flips over the AMR, the Aston Martin Valkyrie, and we're just sliding on the roof. Hopefully, we don't get stuck in here. Looks like this can be the final spot. Just completely pancaked. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It completely rolls out, ah, but it is unable to move due to the impact protection. The next vehicle we have is the Lamborghini SVJ LP 770. Let's see how well it does. I feel like it's going to be a little bit slower with the all-wheel drive that it has to compete with, overcoming that friction. Handling seems a lot better. Definitely doesn't stick to the road like the Zonda does. We are cooking at 136 miles an hour. Got to try to hit the center here. Ooh, luckily we did, and it stays in the center. A nice soft landing. Can we get back under control? Maybe. 
Oh, turn it back. No, oh, we're back on the rail. And that looks like the rail is going to slow us down. Oh, can we beat... It does not look like we're going to beat the... Zonda. The Zonda's down there right before the bleachers. Lamborghini did not beat Zonda. Let's see how far the Supra makes it. This one is the top secret Supra. Just picking up speed really quickly here. Speed-wise, we are going faster than the Valkyrie was already. Ooh, getting a good amount of air through there. Not sure if we're going to be able to make it over to the center. If we do, we're probably still going to be going way faster than we have in the past. Ooh, we are flying through the air. Ooh, a massive impact. Right on the flat spot. Landed right back on the roof. Good thing this is a roll cage. And we're just sliding down. Here comes up the Lamborghini. We come flying past the Lamborghini. We have no steering left in it. Ooh, we do a nice nose slide on the rail there and we come flying past are we gonna hit the little ramp Ooh, it turns us straight we go past the zonda and we get sent over to the left side into the grass the uh, supra has made it farther than any other car so far the Zonda is just right up there, and it just beat it. Picking up speed already. Keeping nice and tight to the road, it hasn't really gotten too much hang time. Ooh. It seems like it's going to be very, very nose heavy if it does get any air. Hopefully we can hit that center track. Oh, it gets really loose. Oh, we hit the edge of it. We might land flat. Oof. Uh, even though we kind of landed nicely in reverse, definitely didn't hold together. We still have some sort of steering, but we are just sliding down at this point. Just a hunk of metal. Oof. Fortunately, that is where the McLaren stops. Next is the Mazda 787B Le Mans car. I think with all this downforce, it might actually do very good here. We're picking up quite a bit of speed. You know, it does first area of hang time. Stays pretty close. It is a little rear heavy on the downforce, which is to be expected. Still handles very nicely. Let's see if we can get down the center lane. No problems at all. Ooh, oh. And then we get sucked to the wall and pancakes on its roof. It continues to skid down the hill hopefully we can get it rolled over can't catch an edge Oof, it does not look like it's able to there oh and we have a broken wheel
And the wheels going way further than the car. Oh, it looks like it's going to come to a skidding halt right before the McLaren. All right, now we have the Liberty Walk R35 GTR. And let's see how it goes. I'm going to keep it high up so it has better clearance. Look at that. It's starting to roll. It is a beautiful looking car. Even though it is in a monster truck mode right now. How much air does it get here? Ooh, it stays pretty level. But it is getting a little loose and trying to handle it. Try to get to the center before that bump. We hit the bump a little bit. It stays pretty level. Oh no, we're starting to too much air and just pancake into the ground. We are making it way further this time on the secondary bounce. And we're once again skidding on the roof. Ooh, it looks like we have way more speed. Are we going to hit the McLaren? Ooh, we take out the McLaren a little bit. And we continue to slide. There's not much left to this GTR now. But we haven't made it quite a bit further than the other vehicles. And it gets stuck in the pit. And our last vehicle is the trophy truck. If this thing lands nicely, I think it will be our winner. So let's see how it does. There's some loud tire noise. To be expected. See how it handles this first one. Lands completely fine, super nice and soft. Getting really loose here. Oh, we missed that jump. Oh, we hit the edge. It's not looking good here. Just barely nosed over into it. Oh, we landed it fine. Question is, can we get driving straight again? We can, and it still has steering somehow. I don't know how we got that lucky. That is insane that we were able to get that lucky there. Can we make it the rest of the way down the hill? I think these bumps are going to be what's going to give us some trouble here, especially with our steering. We can't get stuck on the rail. Oh, stay off the bumps. And we might just have our first one to make it to the very bottom here. Barely sliding in to the sand. We have our first victor. It is the trophy truck. Suspension over downforce. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day.